Thank you, <coughs> Brother Carlo. Uh, thank you for the kind introduction to my uh, worshipful pastor, uh, Joel. Uh, very worshipful uh, district deputy grandmaster, uh, Pablo Panganiban Jr. To our guest of honor and speaker, who will be appropriately introduced later. Uh, to all the DDLs in the East, uh, dignitaries in the floor, and the Gapipo Senior Lahat. Uh, Narinig po natin valedictory address ng kababang Pangulo, uh, kababang Worshipful Master, ay first time ko pong nakarinig ng valedictory address ng outgoing uh, immediate past master na ginampanan niya na yung trabaho ng pagiging secretary in acknowledging other visitors. Palakpakan nga po natin ito. <laughs> Ibang klase po itong sipag ditong ating uh, kababag na uh, worshipful master. Uh, hanggang ngayon ay iniisip ko pa kung ano ba talaga ang dahilan at ako ang napili ninyo magbigay ng inspirational message sa isang napaka makasaysayang pagdiriwang na ngayon ang ating centennial installation. Sana naman ay hindi ang aking pagka senior Mason lang ang tanging dahilan ng aking pagkakapili. Inilalagay ko na lang sa isip ko na marahil ang aking pagiging aktibo sa mga gawain ng masuderya dito sa ating lohya at sa labas ng distrito ang nang mahabang panahon ng aking pagkakasapi sa ating kapatiran ang naging dahilan kung bakit ako napili ni Joel magbigay ng inspirational message. Para sa inyong kaalaman, sa loob ng mahigit 30 taon, walang panahon na ako ay nanlamig sa kapatiran. Lalo na nang ako ay maupong worshipful master ng aking inang lohya ang minamahal kong Malolos Lodge 46 noong taong 1989. At sinundan pa ito ng pagkatiwalaan akong humawa ng ilaba, iba pang posisyon sa distrito at ganun din sa grand lohya noong mga sumunod na taon. Hindi ko ikataila na marami ring pagkakataon na ako ay sumama ang loob o naghinanakit sa isa, hindi lang sa isa, sa ilang kapatid na mason na para sa akin naman ay normal na nangyayari kahit sa isang tarnal na magkapatid. Sa maniwala kayo hindi, ni minsan ay di ko idinamay ang sama ng loob o ang hinanakit na ito sa aking glorya, sa anumang sigalot na aking naranasan. Sa magagandang aral na natutunan ko sa masunurya, ay lalo pang tumibay ang aking pagiging mason na siyang kinapitan ko sa anumang suliranin o pagsubok na nadanasan ko sa loob at labas ng glorya. Una rito ay ang pagiging, ang paghingi ng pagpapala sa Diyos bago pumasok sa anumang malaki at mahalagang gawain na siyang unang aral na ipinuro sa atin nang pumasok tayo sa masuderya. Napatandaan niyo pa po po yun sa kung kanino tayo maniniwala. Kasunod dito ay ang pagiging mapagpakumbaba sa buhay na isang mahalagang tungkulin ng isang mason. Ganon din ang pagiging mapag-ubaya o ang virtue of tolerance. At ganon din ang maging mapagpatawad o forgiveness. Kasunod dito ay ang maraming kabutihang ipinuro sa atin ng masunuriyan. Nariyan ang four cardinal virtues 
tulad ng pagiging mahinahon, katatagan ng loob, ang maging maingat sa pagpapasya o prudence, at pagiging makatarungan. Ganun din ang, magiging, ang pagiging matulungin sa kapwa, lalo't higit sa isang karapat dapat makapatid na mason. Kalakip nito ay ang taos sa pusong pagtupad sa ating sinumpaang obligasyon o tungkulin bilang mason. Ang sa panghuli at sa akin ang pinakamahalaga ay ito. Huwag nating pabayaang sumira sa ating matayo na pagdakila sa masuneriya ang anumang mapait na karanasan na dulot ng sino mang kapatid na mason sapagkat walang kinalaman ng ating kapatiran walang ka kaalaman kinalaman ng ating kapatiran dito na ang dakilang hangarin ay mapalaganap ang pagmamahalan at pagkakasundo ng mga magkakapatid. Subalit hindi natin maiiwasan pa minsan-minsan na tumubo ang samaan ng loob at hinanakitan ng magkakapatid. Sa ganang akin, mahalagang tungkulin ng matangal na guro ang pagkakasundo ng mga kapatid ng kanyang lohya. Ganun din sa ating mga past masters, tumulong tayong mapanatili ang pagkakaisa ng mga kapatid sa lohya. Hindi yon na tayo pa mismo ang nangunguna sa pagkakahati-hati ng mga kapatid. Sundin natin ang kalooban at pasya ng nakaupong marangal na guro o ng worshipful master upang magampanan ang kanyang sinumpaang tungguli. Kung meron man tayong puna, ay malaya natin itong ipahayag sa loob ng lohya at hindi sa labas. Matapos itong mapag-usapan at mapagpasyahan, ay kailangan natin igalang ito at hindi maging taliwas sa ating uh, pagkakasundo-sundo. The least we can do is to remain silent. Sa marangal na buro, sikapin naman ninyo na ang inyong pasya ay laging nakaangkla sa kapakanan ng inyong mga kapatid. To the young nations, marami na pong uh, may nagdagdag na namang tatlong bagong mason ang ating uh, lohya. Ito ang uh, pagbibiling ko sa inyo. To our young masons, chart your masonic journey and silence yourself in masonry. Remember to include in your chart the route that leads to the oriental chair. Learn by heart and practice the teachings learned within and without masonry. Participate actively in our rituals. Expose your family to the works of masonry. Isama ninyo si Ateng at ang pamilya sa mga mahalagang pagtitipon ng lohya tulad nitong araw na ito. Focus your, five, your first five years in your motherlands. And I tell you, the Oriental Chair will not be far from sight. As you step down the master's chair to my fellow past masters, especially to you, Brother Albert, after you step down the master's chair, and my advance advice to you, Brother Joel, Worshipful Joel, continue to mentor and share your wisdom to the brethren, especially to the young ones. Then, my brothers, my younger brothers, the appendant bodies, were almost all, if not all, were formed and founded by your brothers here in Malolos Lands 46. 
After that, I assure you, these appendant bodies will be more than welcome to accept you as worthy members. Go on, go forth to promote masonry. Help form new lodges. Accept invitations to lecture, to speak, and even join an installation team, which I'm very proud of to see qualified, proficient, uh, installing team like what we witnessed uh, this afternoon. And I'm very proud to say that in the past five years, we have been, uh, our own installing team have been performing uh, for the past five years. Don't be contented with fellowship with us senior masons based according to the number of cheers or bottoms up. Instead, learn from us the lessons in life gained by experience within and without the lads. At this point in time, when I'm fully retired from business and work, masonry serves as my therapy to keep young, Imagine hanging around with brethren, many of whom were even classmates of my, chi of my children. This kept me updated with apps, fashion, styles, and the like. However, amongst the unlimited benefits that masonry affords me and my family is the timeless pass to leave the house every time there is a Masonic function. Of course, this is not a privilege to be abused. Otherwise, malamang ma-preterminate kada yung passes book from a thing. In closing, let me congratulate the newly installed officers of my motherlands. I'm confident the results of your performance in the coming year will prove your dedication and competence to your sworn duties. With this, I, I hope I was able to impart even a little inspiration to everyone to remain steadfast in their obligation as a true and trusty, as a true, trusty and worthy Mason, and for you, for everyone to enjoy Masonry in your lifetime. Dalangin ko ang patuloy na pagpapala ng dakilang may kapal patungo sa susunod na panahon Nawa ay maghari ang pagkakasundo-sundo at pagkakaisa ng bawat isa sa nasyang sinandalan ng Malolos Lodge 46 ng nakaraang isang daang taon. Maraming salamat po at magandang gabi sa inyo. Maraming salamat, a very wonderful Tino Garcia. So, thank you for sharing your uh, secret your secret uh, sa fountain of youth mo kung bakit bata, bata pa rin ang itsura mo hanggang ngayon. Masonaria lang pala ang sekreto mo. So with that, let me now call on very worshipful Norberto Ramos Jr. to introduce our guest of honor and speaker. Good evening, my dearest brethren. Mine is the task of introducing our guest of honor and speaker for this evening. And though I was informed by his staff that he prefers to be short and simple in production, it would do great injustice to introduce him without first discussing charity and humility. Charity is defined as the benevolent goodwill towards love of humanity. Our speaker tonight defined charity through his various endeavor for being past president of YMCA in Cagayan de Oro, a past member of the Board of Trustees of the Boy Scout of the Philippines, Cagayan de Oro chapter, and a Paul Harris Fellow awardee of the Rotary Club International. 
to support the scholarship program of La Salle University in Osamis is alma mater. Giving less fortunate students the same opportunity he was given when he was in the same situation. This is not counting the numerous charity works, charity projects our guest speaker has led and participated in as member of our craft. On the other hand, humility is defined as freedom from pride or arrogance or the quality or state of being humble. Our speaker came from humble beginning, from a family of farmers in Sapang Dalaga, Misamis Occidental, working as a janitor to support his college education, to emerge as one of the more prominent businessmen in Cagayan de Oro, with interest in advertising, real estate, resort, radio station, and fast food businesses. Defined as predetermined course of event, often led to an irresistible power or urgency, our honorable speaker gave his own meaning to the word destiny. When from being raised as member of Makahalar Lodge number 18 way back in 1984, rising to become its worshipful master in 1992, during which time the most worshipful Grand Lodge of the Philippines had judged him as the most outstanding worshipful master. Being appointed as GLI, District Grand Lecturer, Junior Grand Lecturer, to being regarded as the most outstanding District Deputy Grand Master for the year 2001 to 2002 during the term of the then most worshipful Nap Soriano. Destiny was also at its side when during the 100th annual communication, he was elected as Junior Grand Warden. And now, as the 2019 ANCOM approaches, and if destiny finds him favorable, he is set to be elected to the Grand Oriental Chair. Happily married to our lovely sister, the former Miss Clarissa May Gualberto, our guest speaker, is a proud father of four, where two of his sons are now member of our esteemed fraternity. Brethren, guests, friends, and family, please rise and let us give a warm round of applause to our guest of honor and speaker, Right Worshipful Brother Agapito S. Suan Jr., Deputy Grand Master of the Most Worshipful Grand Lads, Free and Accepted Masons of the Philippines. Thank you very much, very wonderful Norberto S. Ramos Jr. for the kind and humbling introduction. Worshipful Master Osilito C. Manuel, very worshipful Pablo T. Panganiban Jr., our District Deputy Grand Master. Worshipful brother Al Alberto C. Dumblao, our immediate past master. Very worshipful Faustino Garcia. Very worshipful Carlo Pacifico Anya, Pacifico Anya, installing officer. Dignitaries in the East, brethren, sisters, rainbow girls, demony boys, the Jurassics. Guys, good evening. Ano kaya ang tawag nila dito sa Bulacan sa mga senior masons, baka dinosaur? <laughs> Charity and Humility Foundations of a True Mason. It is on this note, my dear brothers, that I wish to extend my warmest paternal greetings to all of you on behalf of our Grand Master, Most Worshipful Romeo S. Momo. Kaya't aking ipinahayag ngayon ang mainit at taos puso kong pagbati sa bagong talagang pamunuan ng Luhia Malulos numero 46 para sa taong masuniko 
2019. Tama po ba ang Tagalog ko? <laughs> you see, brethren, I am from Mindanao, Bisaya. I am not used to speaking the Tagalog so much, especially the fluent and traditional Tagalog. Kami kasi mga Bisaya, malalambot ang dila namin. <laughs> so please bear with me as I deliver my message in English. Halo, halo. But I remember most merciful boy and yet telling me one time that Taglish now is more acceptable. Mas madaling maintindihan. The last time I attended a Masonic function here in this province of Bulacan was during the constitution of Pulo ng Lilan, Masonic Lodge 439, held sometime in June last year. This is a very beautiful city and the province name of Bulacan is derived from the Tagalog word Bulak, which means cotton, due to the abundance of cotton plants growing in the region. Noon yan, e ngayon, abundance of factories and subdivisions na. Today's appeal is made very significant because we have just installed a centennial set of officers who will direct your Masonic clubs towards another turning point in your 100 years of existence. I guess that the newly installed officers have never been more proud than today. But before I proceed, let me express how impressed I am by the solemn conduct of the installation ceremonies performed by the installing team led by the very eloquent and proficient installing officer, very worshipful Carlo Anya. <laughs> Assisted by the equally articulate, very worshipful Rinaldo Cabawat Cabawatan Jr. <laughs> as and worshipful brother Ramil Katanghal as assistant master of ceremonies and made more solemn by the musical direction of worshipful brother Pablo Mati. <laughs> Let us give them again a big round of applause. <laughs> their extraordinary familiarity with the ancient rituals speaks highly of their love and dedication to masonry. To the incoming officers led by worshipful master Joel Manuel, you know that the time has come for you to prove your God-given abilities, not just to lead, but to lead well. Learn from history. Emulate the great examples of those who came before you. You have assumed the responsibilities demanded by the East, time with the centennial anniversary of the Lodge. What better privilege there is than to take office at a milestone year with all the eyes of the brethren set upon you and the officers, hoping and wondering to what bright and promising future your new administration will direct the fate of the lads. The lads' ex expectations, if my information is correct, include the conversion of the Malolos Temple into a Masonic center, and of course, the continuance of the tradition of excellence for which Malolos Lodge is famous for in this district. You have been given the mandate by the brethren because of their faith and trust in you. I have no doubt that you will become good custodians of that trust and as you continue to preserve the remarkable and timeless tradition of the fraternity by being its sentinels sentinels against all forms of threats and by keeping close watch at our door that no one unworthy may slip through it. Preparing for the centennial celebration kept you busy last year. The commitment for your time, attention, and resources will continue to preoccupy you this year. It is hope, however, 
that you will never forget the important lesson taught us about the 24-inch gaze, one of the working tools of our profession, whereby we are taught for a more glorious purpose of dividing our time for the service of God and our distressed brothers for our usual vocations and, of course, our family. May you continue to be the perfect reflections of Freemasonry in the eyes of your family and in the com community you live. To the immediate past officers of this lodge, led by Worshipful Brother Alberto Dumlao, please accept my warmest compliments for an extraordinary Masonic Year 2018. You have indeed lived up to the expectations of your brethren and you richly deserve the finest admiration and congratulations. I trust that you will be remembered well by this grateful lodge. Ang bilis ng panahon. Past master ka na, pero hindi pasmado. <laughs> Continue to get involved in the lodge activities. Share your wisdom and always be one of the supporting and inspiring pillars of your lives. Tulungan mo si Worshipful Master Joel. After a hundred years, how do we really find Bulacan Freemasonry? In this aspect, allow me to express my own definition of Bulacan Freemasonry by defining what Bulacan means to me. Namely, it is brothers united in love, amity, and charity who aids the needy. Bulacan. Tama ba? Brothers united in love, amity, and charity who aids the needy. It is my humble belief that our craft would not have survived a century in any place had it not been for the love, harmony, and cooperation that pervades across the different lodges in this province. Thirteen lodges. Medyo marami na. Baka pwede na natin hatiin. Para dalawa na ang DDGM. Hindi na magagawan. True that we as brethren may disagree from time to time but the genuine spirit of brotherhood and unity will still endure and prevail. Through the efforts of our forebears, Bulacan Freemasonry has been held in high regard by the discerning public eye and with the continuous efforts of our younger brethren, through the learned hand of guidance by its elders, I am confident that we will see another hundred years of our craft in the distant future, which our children will eventually celebrate. The province of Bulacan has made an invaluable contribution to the craft, and Malolos Lodge number 46 is its continuing legacy. From this province sprang no less than the late worshipful master Marcelo X. Del Pilar, who was regarded as the highly venerable father of Philippine Freemasonry. The advent of the bloody 1896 revolution has seen the rise of Bulacino Masons. With the change in the fortunes of war, the province political center shifted from the town of Bulacan, which was the former capital of the province, to the town of Malolos. And there was no better time for the craft, perhaps, than the year 1898, when the best and the brightest Masonic luminaries have converged here in your city. With the likes of then right worshipful Apolinario Mabini and brethren like Pedro Paterno, Antonio Luna, and many others. Therefore, our beloved brethren of Malolos have been blessed with a fortunate and sound beginning. So much so that when the first Filipino Grand Master, Manuel Quison, has ascended the Grand Oriental Chair in 1918, all your patient waiting, sustained by nationalistic 
sentiments finally shown and paid off. Nicolas Buendia, who went to become this province governor and senator, and later delegate to the 1934 Constitutional Convention, prop properly fits as the first forceful master of these nationalistic clouds. And to this illustrious line of Lodge members, may I add our past grandmaster, most worshipful Pacifico Boy Anya, who I look up to for his wisdom approximate to a statesman. That's why I do not consider him a politician, but a statesman. Since then, Malolos Lodge has seen the affiliation of its prominent citizens coming from the town's Boina familias, like the Al Aldabas, Gatmaitans, Chrysostomos, and so on. And from these sound unfortunate beginnings, the groundworks of your lads have been prepared. For this, I invite our Malolos brethren to look deeper into their past and find out how the Lodge has endured all the trials and tribulations over the years. My brethren, in a few months' time, I will be leaving my post as Deputy Grandmaster, and if by God's grace, the coming events will side in my favor, I will be stepping into my grand destiny and highest calling in Freemasonry. Should that opportunity arise, it is my earnest desire that you can join me in this journey and count for your support. Tulungan niyo ako, brethren, sa Grand Lodge. Worshipful Master Jewel, tulungan niyo ako, ha? Yung mga taga-globe. Sana walang bayad na yung ID. Let us work together for the benefit and glory of our beloved fraternity. I pray that you will share that wonderful moment with me in Cagayan de Oro City this coming April Ancom. Sana nakaregister na yun kayo. Baka hindi pa kayo nagbayad sa ticket na pinadala ng, ng host district. Bayad na ba? The brethren of the host Masonic districts where I belong are doing their best to ensure that this will be the best ANCOM ever to be held in our city. And I will be personally gratified to see you there and squeeze my some of my time to be your host. My brethren, I have been a Freemason for the most part of my life, 35 years now, and somehow I have been able to form my own personal view of what makes a man a genuine adherent of the craft. To me, charity and humility, I repeat, charity and humility are the foundations of a true mission. Again, congratulations and good evening to all of you. Thank you very much. Good evening again, uh, brothers. Uh, for to show my gratitude, Bo, I would like first of all, uh, Paolo Cruz. Kuya Paolo. Nakaya sa my worshipful brother Albert, siya pato mo tulong sa akin. Ano ba ang stats mo? 10 out of 30. the opening prayer, uh, very worshipful Gabriel Chrysostomo. Sabi ko sa akin na yung unang token ko sa akin na dito ko bibigay. Kaya lang binigay ko na ng isang araw. So Gab, Brother Marshall, would you please escort uh, Sir Gab?
Um, next, I would like to thank the three installing officers, si very worshipful Kyle Anyag, si very worshipful Reynaldo Kabawato Jr., at si worshipful S. Sohan Jr. Ay, papasahin ka. Um, in due and grateful recognition of his general, generous participation and valuable commitment of time, effort, and wisdom as the guest of honor and speaker of the recently concluded 100th public installation of elected and appointed officers of Loya Malolos No. 46 for the centennial year 2019-2020 theme, Renewing Masonic Relevance in the Next 100 Years through brotherly love, relief, and truth, without which the installation would not have been as successful and as solemn as it had been. Given the 16th day of uh, March 2019 at Barsi International Hotel, City of Malolos, Bulacan, Philippines, signed uh, Worshipful uh, Master Rosalito C. Manuel, Centennial Worshipful Master, um, Carlo Ma uh, Magno Palomo, Centennial Senior
And of course, last but not the least, ang paborito kong tunog kanina habang naglalakad ako. Worshipful brother Pablo Christopher S.T. Matik. Kuya, maraming salamat sa... To our uh, installed Worshipful Master, uh, Worshipful Master uh, Joel Manuel. To our guest honorary speaker, our Deputy Grandmaster, Knight Worshipful Agapita Swan Jr. To our uh, very own, very Worshipful Faustino Garcia, inspirational speaker. Uh, to all of my DGL, uh, very Worshipful Sir. Uh, to very worshipful Joey Pangilinan of uh, Masanic District, Pampanga. To our very impressive installing team, my uh, compadre, very worshipful Carlo Pacificanya. Uh, to uh, our Grand Lodge Inspector, very worshipful Celito Pascual. To all of the Demolays, the Jurassic Cuba Tantan. To all our Rainbow for Girls, to all of our attacks, very worshipful on the floor, brethren, friends of Mason, in behalf of our Grandmaster, most worshipful Romeo S. Momo, we would like to congratulate all the installed uh, officer of Malolos Lodge number 46. And uh, we'd like also to uh, express is uh, gratitude and uh, congratulations. Today marks another important milestone as we witness the newly concluded installation of the new set of officer of our mother lodge and the mother of all lodges here in Bulacan, Manolos Lodge number 46. It is also a momentous occasion for me, as it, as it is the 100th installation and also my mother lodge and the last installation that I'll be presiding as your district deputy grandmaster. This is bittersweet. Mapait po dahil ako ay bababana. At natural lang po na mamimiss ko kayong lahat. Na nakakasama ko upang maitaguyod natin at mapatakbo natin ang distrito ng Balakan sa taong ito. Matamis dahil mababawi ko na po ang oras na ginugol ko. Mababawasan na rin po ng konti ang aking mga responsibilidad. And I'm humbly asked for this moment to thank everyone that helped me along my journey as your district deputy grandmaster. First, I want to thank God for giving me the strength and guidance. Second, my most worshipful grandmaster, Romeo S. Momo, for the honor and privilege to serve our district and our paternity. Third, bagamat wala po siya rito, to Kuya Ruel for his support in all our activity and his generosity. And to my team, 
that consists of my district grand lecturer. Allow me to uh, introduce them. Uh, first of all, my personal assistant. Na lagi ko pong kasama. Alam niyo naman po, minsan masakit ang tuhod ko. At minsan siya po ang nagdadrive sa akin. Very worshipful Mark Martinez. To very worshipful Lito Pascual. Ay, Lito, uh, Amado Lito Katalan. Pasensya na po. Salamat po sa inyong service. And nakita ko rin po dito si very worshipful Randolph Asuncion. Nasaan ka po ba? Yeah. Thank you po. Sila naman po ang uh, umaten sa Marcelo and uh, San Jose del Monte. And of course, uh, the two uh, very worshipful Romel Cruz and very worshipful uh, Albert Chua. And also, I would like to thank all of my G GLI. Pwede po bang magsitayo lahat ng GLI ko? Thank you po sa inyong lahat na is always present in all the respective large assignment. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. To very worshipful Bones Garcia. Andito po ba siya? Nagyoyosin na naman. Ang aking pong secretary and always uh, siya po ang uh, lagi kong nahihinga ng wisdom. And of course, to my parigoy, very worshipful Faustino Garcia sa mga wisdom. Now, to all the lodges in Bulacan, allow me to uh, acknowledge gaya nga po sinabi ni Kuya Tino, eh, magsisimpi na ako sekretary. Kasi po, halos lahat sila nakasama ko. Una-una na po si Worshipful Albert ng uh, Malolos Lodge number 46. Sa Marcelo, Lodge number 272. Thank you po sa inyo. Sa Kupang Lodge number 295. Uh, to Worshipful Brother Angelo Tapales. And of course, uh, Kuya Matt has always been here. Therefore, uh, supporting me. And also, Kuya Hill Mendoza. Salamat po. To uh, Baliwag Lodge number 301, to Worshipful Brother uh, Alan Bautista. To Kakarong Lodge number 327, Worshipful Bon. Thank you, Idol. To San Jose, De San Jose Del Monte Lodge 357, to Kuya Jepoy. To St. John the Baptist number 362. To Worshipful Master uh, Ricky Beray, dito po ba siya? And of course, uh, to, uh, to Kuya Henry Koch, that uh, always uh, present in all the activities of the district. To King Wallace, number 364, Kuya Toteng, maraming salamat po. And of course, sa aking mga katoto sa Hagunoy Masonic Lands, Kuya Neil and Party, Kuya Papi, and Jason, thank you. To Bulacan Lodge, number 400. Nakita ko po dyan si Kuya Paul. And of course, uh, Worshipful Brother Marco. To San Miguel de Mayumo Lodge, number 412. Uh, nandiyan po ba si Kuya Wilson, si Kuya Ashley, and si Kuya Bobot. Nakita ko po kanina. Thank you po sa inyo. And uh, to Kuya Jerry, opo, uh, Worshipful Brother Manuel Ibasco Lodge. To Polo ng Ilan, headed by Worshipful Brother uh, Luke Navarro. And uh, our uh, under dispensation, Primera Republica. Salamat po ng marami sa inyong suporta sa lahat ng activities ng distrito. Especially your support to the last uh, activity, the Centennial Ball. Without your support, without the support of every largest, hindi po magiging successful yun. 
Actually, hindi po na inaasahan na marireach natin yung 350 attendance na nagpasampa po yata. Am I right, Worshipful? Uh, yes. Thank you po sa inyo lahat. To uh, Masonic District R3 Bulacan Basketball Team. Ito po. Matagal ko pong nakakasama yung mga to. Pwede po bang magsitayo kayo? Lahat ng uh, team ng uh, Bulacan. Yan. Salamat po sa inyo. Thanks for giving your time and giving all your efforts. And, and most of the, and most of all, the camaraderie that we built within ourselves. Salamat po. And now, uh, hindi ko po mapapalagpas to. I'd like to thank uh, Worshipful Master Albert Tumlao who deserved a lot of credit. He showed me how to be a genuine leader. He had a monstrous task of finishing the temple and he actually did it. He should be an example to all upcoming Worshipful Master. Pinakita po ni Worshipful Master Dumlao that if you have faith in God, the strong will to act and the zealousness to serve, anything is possible. Now, let me take this opportunity to give you the token. Uh, Worshipful Master Albert. Actually, give ko sa iyo yan. <laughs> uh, plaki of appreciation to Worshipful Master Albert P. Dumlao, Worshipful Master Masonic Lads No. 46, in grateful acknowledgement of his deep commitment and dedication rendered to the Masonic District R.J. Bulacan. And for ex his exemplary works delivered in celebrating the 100 years of Masonic legacy in Bulacan, given this 16th day of March 2019 at Barsi International Hotel, Bulihan, City of Malalas. Congratulations, Barsi. Thank you for the understanding that sometimes, or may I say, all of the weekends has been occupied by Masonic duties. Maraming salamat. 